हेलो एंड वेलकम एवरीवन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द एच टी एम एल फाइव फॉर्म्स लाइक दिस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग हाउ टू टेक द इनपुट फ्रॉम द यूजर राइट सो देर आर मेनी वेज यू कैन जस्ट राइट अ सिंपल एच टी एम एल फॉर्म लाइक इनपुट टाइप लेवल इनपुट टाइप लेवल इज जस्ट यूज फॉर द प्लेस होल्डर्स वेर यू कैन स्पेसिफाई योर यूजर नेम पासवर्ड लाइक आई वॉन्टेड टू शो सम लेबल लाइक दिस इनपुट टाइप टेक्स इज फॉर पासवर्ड राइट सो इफ इफ आई इफ यू जस्ट प्रोवाइड इनपुट टाइप पासवर्ड input type text input type email all these different options you can provide okay like for range min max so if you just specify it like this then it will be a range selector okay input type password means whenever you type something it will not be as shown it will be masked then we have input type radio where you can select one of them like male and female only what you need to take care is the name attribute should be the same so input type checkbox where you can just select a particular checkbox okay and then finally we have input type select select is nothing another attribute another tag in the html5 to take an option out of many like country city you wanted to select one city you wanted to select one country then this will come into the picture so we have this different different form elements we talked about now how we can create our sign up form like so we can create a nice html5 form what this form is doing is it this form is taking the input from the user input type text i will do so first name yeah so this form is starting with the action so whatever you are submitting this form why we are displaying form to the user because we want to take input from the user and when the user is submitting that form we wanted to capture the value right like login registration sign up or any kind of registration to any website right so input type radio where you will be just selecting one of the value mr mr s and miss and input type first name so you can see input type text and what all options you have here you can specify input type number range input type radio uh, input type submit text password email so here i think in the one place we are specifying input type uh, email and we are doing the validation also here you can see input type email and validation so when you click on submit it will ask you okay you haven't entered the email properly even if you just enter something it will give you the brow in browser pop up is please include at the rate because you haven't written the email properly so now i think it will stop giving me this message now because i have entered some dummy email id okay so the required attribute will make that field required you can add it required attribute to any field input type first name is required input type last name is required so when i try to submit it you will get that error yeah so if i try to submit this then i will get this if i enter it then i will get the error for the last name i will get the error for the email okay this is how we can do the form validation if you wanted to disable it you can just add a no validate and you will be writing your own validation strategy okay this is just about talking about sign up form where you are entering the few things and like this is a select options you can provide a particular value so once this form is submitted what will happen you uh, you entered all required value when you sign up this form this data will be passed to this particular url and now this url can be your http server the back end you can say client server programming where you will be submitting this form to the http post request even if you are not able to understand this right away just forget about it it's just about how we wanted to save a data from the html form here you are specifying action and method method can be get put post so post i'm posting all the form data to this url so that my server can should be able to save this data and do my registration successful okay uh, another thing is we talked about these different input elements input type text input type radio input type checkbox input type select these are the only ones which you will see in the different form some down drop down some radio box some input type text field some password field some email field some radio buttons right so you should be able to understand how to write the basic forms in html and how to do the basic validations okay for basic validations required similarly html5 provide all different type of validations the validation of email validation of url validation of string you can also provide a regex pattern here so i'm not sure about it so in the input text field you can provide a regex regex is nothing but a pattern which will allow you which will force you to follow that pattern only so you can just provide that regex 
uh, that you can add okay so in next video we'll talk about more about the other html ele elements in the html5